Hello and welcome to another episode of my 5 minute Friday tutorial series. In today's video we'll be covering how to do the single sow cow which is typically the second single jump you will learn in figure skating and if you have noticed it is the third jump that you will learn in this series. Before you start working on your single sow cow it is important that you have a somewhat strong waltz jump before you do this because a sow cow is basically a waltz jump from a different entrance. I do have a full beginner friendly waltz jump tutorial on my page as well as the last 5 minute friday episode which focused on how to do the single waltz jump i will leave all of those videos linked in the description box below and with all that being said let's get right into today's video so for our single sow cow the important things to know beforehand is a forward outside three turn and a waltz jump these are the two items that we will be basically combining to make our sow cow for the single sow cow i personally find it a lot easier to do this jump with a little bit of speed from the back crossover entrance now i know as a very beginner that might sound scary and doing it directly from the three turn might sound a little bit easier do whatever works best for you but in this video i will be going over the backward crossover entrance so the first step is going to be to gain a little bit of speed and we are going to do a few backward crossovers once we have gained a little bit of speed with that we're going to do the same thing we did with our waltz jump where we are going to hold a backward outside edge for our entrance into this for this backward outside edge you do not have to hold it a super long time i just recommend holding it a little bit longer than one second because this is going to help you be stable and set up for the jump properly where if you rush this you might not be able to do your jump or finish it out correctly this next step is where it's going to be quite different from our waltz jump entrance you are going to push onto a forward outside edge you are going to have one arm in front one arm out to the side and you're gonna have your free leg extended out behind you this is where we are going to add our forward outside three turn into the mix now the important thing to do for your single sow cow is to hold these edges and make it an exaggerated three turn rather than a very quick three turn when we push onto that forward outside edge into the beginning of our three turn you want to hold this for at least three seconds and then you are going to do your three turn making sure that your arms are still in the l shape and that they turn in the direction of the circle that is correct for your forward outside three turn the next step and second half of our three turn is very important for getting set up for your sow cow and being able to take off correctly like i had mentioned with the first half of the three turn you want to hold this edge for at least three seconds so once you have made the turn on your three turn you want to hold that inside edge for at least three seconds it's also important to make sure that your free leg is out nice and straight. It's not bent close to the other leg. It's sticking out as straight as you can make it. This next step is the takeoff of our single sow cow, and this is one of the hardest things for beginners to learn, so I will try my best to break it down in the simplest steps as possible. Now that we have completed our three turn, we are holding that inside edge. Our arms are in the L shape, hugging the circle. You want to make sure that the leg that is on the ice, you slowly start to bend it, and as you are bending this, pressing into your edge, you want that free leg to come around and sweep through the inside of your circle. I like to say sweep, but you could also describe this as a scooping motion because we are going to pivot around as we are bringing our free leg through and you are going to kick it up into the H position like our waltz jump. So you will technically be taking off forward like a waltz jump at this point, except we've pivoted on the ice as part of our rotation here. And you are just going to do the same thing as a waltz jump. You're going to kick up into the H position and transfer sides. So you're now landing on the opposite leg. It's important to mention that a single sow cow is considered an edge jump and so you want to make sure that you are really focusing on pivoting as you're coming around in your entrance and pressing into your edge as you are doing this and when you look down on the ice you should see a J or hook shape. The other thing I want to talk about is what your arms should be doing so when we're on that inside edge the second half of our three turn you want to make sure that your arms are in the L shape hugging the circle and just as your free leg is coming around doing that scooping motion or sweeping motion to come forward into the H you want to make sure that you take that arm out to the side and it comes with the free leg creating some momentum to lift you up into the air and you can see me doing that in these video clips the last and final step of our single sow cow is exiting our jump and you want to make sure that you're in that beautiful landing position and you're standing up nice and tall now as a beginner when you first learn your jumps you might land them kind of bent over and close to the ground that is completely fine this is something you want to work towards is having a nice presentation out of your jumps especially if you'll be doing competitive skating judges really like to look for you holding your landings and extension on that is great 
Anyways, that is it for today's 5 Minute Friday tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you would like to watch the rest of them, I will leave the entire playlist linked in the description box below. Anyways, I will see you in the next video.